So today on PowerCat Live, we're answering a question that a customer asked about how to take a, something that you have in an app or some data you received and put it on the header of a custom connector call. And so to do this, we're gonna use this custom connector I have here, which is one I wrote a while ago, and it connects to GSA, which is the government agency in the United States that tells you how much it thinks you should be spending at a hotel as you travel around America. To use this connector here, I give it a, a year, and then it's gonna return a bunch of uh, nightly hotel rates. Now, to, in order to add something to the header to this then, I'm gonna change the request here. Now this can be done directly in Swagger. I'm gonna do it in the UI and I'll show you the change that make, gets made in, Sw in Swagger. And so let's just go to import from sample. This is a post. And then I'm gonna add my new header here. I'm gonna call it new header. And then let's import and we see new header gets created below. I'm gonna also just make this required. And we'll give it a default value just so that we can uh, make sure that it gets set and we can watch it. Now, now let's look at the change that was just made in the Swagger. So if we come and look at the Swagger, let's look for new header. And we see this is a new parameter, it just happens to be located in the header rather than in the path. And so let's try this out. If we come back to test after updating the connector, We'll see here, there's our new header. And let's give it uh, let's give it just a header value. And let's also give it our year again and test this. And now we can see here on the header of my request, which is where I put this, I've got a new header and header value. So now that the connector is updated, let's build an app off of it and see if we can get that same header injected in from our app. So I'm gonna create a Canvas app from blank. We'll just call this test. And let's do a very simple app that just takes a four digit year and returns the list of values, All right? So this is uh, not gonna have a default and we will make this uh, number field button that says go <clears throat> and a data table to show the results. So let's have our, let's tie our button then to our API that we just worked on this one here and we'll set a var result variable equal to GSA per DM API and then the API that we updated was this one get lodging rates and we'll say that this will then take input from this input box here text input one and let's just put that same input in our new header value as well and so now let's try this. So we'll say again, we'll give it a year of 2020 and go. And if we look, we should see our variable populated here. There's var result with our data. So now let's also bind that to our data table here. So we'll set items equal to var result. And let's choose some of the fields. We just wanna make sure that we're getting data back, right? So we'll choose just some of these month fields. which are gonna be out of order. So there's some of our data. Now, most importantly though, let's look at monitor and see what's going on in the header for this. And so I'm gonna open up Canvas app monitor. And now let's call this once again, I'll hold down the alt key. And we should see a call to our API here. And on the request, we see there is new header with the year that we entered in. So now let's say maybe we you know, don't want something that we're gonna actually input in the app, but let's put the user's email address in there. So we have that available directly from the Canvas app. So the user's email. And let's try calling this API again. And then back on monitor, we see here we have new header and we have the email address of the user. And this has been on the header of the call, even though we were able to set that from a parameter on the custom connector. So this is a pretty unusual use case Right, but if you do have custom connectors or other APIs where you need things on the header, you do have control of those both in your Canvas apps and on your flow.